You guys ever watch so much TikTok that you procrastinate so hard that you cry a little bit in the shower? Me neither. <laughs> hey, how are you? And welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Jacob Andrew Sharp, and gang, we've got a doozy of a video today. And I'm, I'm no scientist, but if my math checks out, that means there's nuggets in here, okay? Juicy, tasty little nuggets. They could be meat nuggets, and they could also be vegan nuggets. There's all sorts of nuggets on my channel, okay? There's nuggets for everybody. So that's why you gotta subscribe to my channel for a uh, lifetime supply of nuggets, okay? So put, put that in your dietary restriction and eat it up. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is this video is plant-based. And by plant-based, I mean another video where I look at TikToks and get crazy angry. And the account that'll be fueling my cruel ego inflation today is the pun guys. They make jokes and they make me upset. And I don't know why. These guys are like if ripped jeans came to life. It's like the types of videos that you would expect your aunt to watch on Facebook. No shit, because in their bio, with over 2 billion views on Facebook. I bet. So... Let's get ready for some of these. He's really hot. Yeah, but I saw it with like five guys. <laughs> Once I get my new glasses, you know how pharmacy? <laughs> Yo, Wendy's fries ready. <laughs> it's like if you bought like a silly shirt on Amazon. Go to work, namaste. It's like when you see shirts that are like stay calm and whine on or whatever the fuck people do. Uh, like this is the stuff that like family members would send to me being like, Jacob, you like comedy. These guys are popular. You should try to do what they do. Thank you, my family, but I would rather eat my own hand. John and Dan come to TikTok. I mean, no shit. I've never seen two guys look like John and Dan ever in my life. John and Dan more like no and thanks. Let's go check out their link tree really quick. Yep, find us on Snapchat. New videos here on Facebook. Weird things to promote is their Snapchat. That feels a little creepy. I wouldn't be asking to get personal snaps from these two. These two feel like an unsolicited dick pic just waiting to happen. If you laugh, you lose. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and that has 5.6 million views and 790,000 likes. Wow, we like the type of people who find this funny are the same people who went to go see Grown Ups 2 in theaters. He's got a KFC bucket on his head. Now that's comedy. And no offense to Kevin James, I'm sure Grown Ups 2 is fine. I think that this is so unfunny that even like Paul Blart would find this cringy. Kevin James, the king of cringe. Oh, nice. Self checkout. Hello. <laughs> Thermal vacuum cleaner. <laughs> what the hell are these things? Dan, you see these? <laughs> you know, how long have you been there? <laughs> All right. Some little a little Walmart pun, you know? This is the type of shit where you can tell that employees are like, Hi, would you like to be a part of our viral video? Can you get the fuck out of here, please? Like, I get, I guess these are dad jokes. I don't even, like, that's even a bit of a reach, right? Like, if I was a dad in Walmart, I'd be like, Okay, kids, let's get out of here. For future reference, don't go near guys like that. The road to success? The road to chickens. <laughs> the road. The most? <laughs> The road. The road. Yeah. The road. Yeah. The road to success took a shit. <laughs> Okay, so they have headphones on and they can't understand a word the other person is saying. I that's fun. Like you know how on like on Facebook video, like everything has like a frame around it and it's like epic hilarious video and it just has that stupid fucking emoji to let us know that it's funny. The least funny videos always have that emoji with it. And they've leaned into it so much that their profile picture is them with that emoji. And now they have it blown up behind them. How else am I gonna know it's funny? It better have the silly emoji so I know when to laugh. <laughs> to success. The road to success. Yes. Is always. Is always. Under construction. Always under. Yeah. Construction. Yeah. 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 Hard as f 
I'm sweating from that. <laughs> I stepped on a cornflake. September cords. I don't like this video because he has like the same hair as I do. This makes me mad because like we're almost the same type of bald. Alrighty, well you guys get the picture with these fucking guys. Um, so yeah, they do puns, but also they do the world's worst food hacks. The type of stuff that is just so unnecessary. I mean, not like any of this is necessary anyways. It's kind of pun necessary. Like you can tell from their thumbnails that the food is gonna suck because it's just like Oreos and flaming hot Cheetos. What the fuck is with the internet and like making food that like an eighth grade kid would wanna make? Like this is the stuff you buy from a convenience store when you start having your own money. Chips, am I right guys? All right, so what do we got going on here? We got some graham crackers, we got some chocolate, also some marshmallow. We make a s'mores. Are we making s'mores? For sure. But wait. There's s'more. <laughs> nice. There's also cookie dough making cookies. And they cook easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we start with our white guy. They're not even making their own food hacks. They're just like watching them and then remaking them. Even when they're cooking, they can't stop cooking up these jokes. The guy's name Graham. Our <laughs> what? Our Graham crackers. <laughs> We got our Hershey's. I'm gonna make this for my girlfriend because I love her. She's the best. <laughs> yeah. Up next, we got our marshmallows. Our huge pyramid of marshmallows. <laughs> Just marsh madness. And now for the cookie dough. No, we don't want to overdough it. We don't want to overdough it. Yeah, that's perfect. That's starting to look s'mory. My favorite talk show is s'mory. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the oven at 300 for about 15 minutes. In all honesty, I bet that tastes fucking amazing. Their reactions are always way over the top. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna fucking come. But like no shit, a s'more underneath a cookie is gonna be delicious. I'm fine with them making these videos. They're not harming anybody, but like I don't need to see your like crazy drunk uncle laughter. I especially don't need to see it when you're making these wine o'clock food recipes. Like I know this shouldn't make me as uncomfortable as it does. <laughs> It looks amazing. <laughs> what? The most like, I've been on the internet for a little too long. I feel like I relate to these guys more than I should. They're just as dead in the eyes as I am. Good. What is that, Oreo sushi? <laughs> Oreo sushi. Sushi Sam. <laughs> you just need a few ingredients to make that, and then you just roll it up. Oh, Oreos? <laughs> Start by separating your Oreos, just like that. So make sure you guys have an Oreo crusher. And then, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now we add a third cup of milk, two tablespoons of condensed milk, and a tablespoon of milk powder. Bro, it just looks like you're in the garden. Is this what Chugi is? This has to be Chugi. I know I'm Chugi, and my fucking Chug Chugi Raider is going off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, you know for sure when you open up those cupboards, there's a stack of Ray Dunn plates in there. All their plates say, like, food or eat. Like, they love Ray Dunn so much that it would say, like, not funny over their videos. Oh, excuse me. Now you have your dinosaur egg. <laughs> your dinosaur -yo egg. <laughs> dinosaur <-yo. laughs> Now we want to start to flatten. Now we make our filling. Two more tablespoons of condensed milk and one more tablespoon of milk powder. Drop a big glob in the center like that. This is probably gonna be so good. This is probably gonna be so good. It's just Oreos broken down. Dude, you made Oreos, but then used milk like a thousand different ways. No shit, it's gonna be good. It's Oreos. You ever had them? They're fucking amazing. Just eat Oreos. Just eat Oreos, don't make a video. That sounds pretty good to me. Why, guys? Why? That's what they should be called. Not the pun guys, the why guys. Cause why the fuck are you doing this? Dude, as if this video needed a part two. No way. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't know, it might have oh. worked. Dude, it worked. Dude, that, no, that's friggin' fine, dude. That's kinda good, right? That worked. Where did that come from? We didn't do that. The very Where did that come from? The white filling that you made? Actually, I can relate to this content. That looks like something I make every single morning. <laughs> what I'm saying is that it looks like a huge log coming out of the bottom of my back. Do the comments. Okay. So I'm off to find part one. What? People actually like are like loving this. That looks amazing. Hey, 
It's Oreos. Guys, just eat Oreos. Epic Oreo video. Oh, fuck. This really worries me about the planet. Don't worry. It gets worse. They uh, they also have accounts that I think they produce uh, with their partners. Those are more food focused. But even though they're just filming, they know how to sneak in a pun or two. All right. So this is uh, Sylvia. Silly girl. I like that. That's fun. Uh, so these guys are all Canadian. Hey, love that. Am I going to love these uh, food videos? Let's find out. So we're going to start with the block of Velveeta cheese. Off to a horrible start. If you're just emptying fucking dry pasta into an empty pan with a big block of cheese, I guarantee you don't know what salt and pepper is. Right away, I can tell you think barbecue sauce is spicy. And every caption on these videos is always like, how did I not know about this mac and cheese hack? This isn't a trick. This isn't a tip. This isn't a hack. This is barely food. I'm actually like genuinely worried for your colon. I imagine that like the inside of their bodies looks like the set of The Descent. If you eat that much dairy, your body becomes a horror movie. Now we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. You just wanna use enough to cover the noodles. That's enough right there. Now we're gonna add some freshly grated Monterey Jack cheese. And the last little bit right here, make that nice and even. Now we're gonna add about one cup of water. It's gonna help our noodles cook. Now I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese. Now we're gonna place this into the oven at 375. Dude, just make normal food. Just make mac and cheese. There's no way that's good for you. There's no way. Also, how can you ingest this much dairy? Are you guys not waking up every day with hip splitting shits? Like this would make a cow throw up, you know? I mean, we can talk about the ins and outs of how horrible the dairy industry is. If cows found out how we use dairy, they'd be furious. You grab my tits just so you can take milk. Leave it out for too long so it becomes cheese. And then you put it on everything? Just so you can have diarrhea and acne? Hey, leave my tits alone. That was my impression of cows. Cows going ouch. Ouch more like couch, which is already a word. I think I've lost my pun touch. Let's see how this uh, ends up. There you go. Look at that. I'm salivating. <laughs> now for our topping. Maybe it's my like disgust for ASMR, but like that like cheesy mac and cheese like <laughs> That, that makes me sick. This is what happens when you give your kids a glass of milk at dinner. Like, these are weirdos who are like, Whew, that was a good workout. I could use a glass of milk. Anyone got any 3% I could shove down my gullet? I'm a milk kid. Weirdos, dude. We're going to start with an ice cream cone. We're going to wrap it in a tortilla, just like that. When it's done, you want to place it into a cup. Bacon ice cream cone. God damn it. Bacon, slightly overlapping. Now we're going to take our cone and place it on our bacon. Your bake home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now this part's- Stop making these food videos and shut up. You don't need to make a fucking ice cream cone out of bacon. Then you don't need to say bake home. Hey, TikTok, you want to talk about community guidelines? Put this in the community guidelines. A fucking waffle cone covered in bacon. That's against my community guidelines. No, thank you. What? That looks so good. No, it doesn't. Can you just shut up, man? Just let your fucking partner cook. I'm going to take a nice big scoop of our ice cream filling. Here it goes. Ew, let me guess, they both take a fucking bite like an ice cream? Cone, right? I think so. Let's try it. <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers. Boo, boo, bad video. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe I'm wasting my life doing this. Please help me. Please, please help me. I don't want to do it anymore. Next, I have to make donuts out of cheese whiz. <laughs> Some of these thumbnails, we've got dried spaghetti covered in raw meat. We got hot dogs that are getting covered in pastry, pasta and the thing, except it's olive oil, strawberries and cream cheese. No. And there's one other account. It's the other guy's partner that makes uh, food hack videos. Oh, Shaba Kitchen. The Shaba Kitchen with 1.8 million followers. Join us in our kitchen for daily recipes, food hacks, and more. Fire emoji. Set me on fire. How about that? Like the captions, you'll never want to make chicken another way. I bet I will. And we're gonna put it over here with the rest. Now I'm just gonna drizzle these with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Next, we're just gonna add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, just like that. Now it's time to season our chicken and I'm just using a variety of fragrant spices. And then I'm just gonna dust the- Okay, that actually looks like legit seasoning, so that's good. I'm just happy that this isn't being drenched in milk or something. Dust these all over our chicken, get them on all of them. There we go. Just gonna kind of rub them against each other. 
Okay, that's... No! No! That looks like people just rubbing their scrotums together. Wow. Just dead in the eyes. Wow, that's really good food. Please help me. These videos seem fake to me. These don't seem real. Like, this isn't real stuff. This, these videos are, like, made by the algorithm. Like, this is made and produced by robots. Ha 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 ha. Please enjoy another viral video. Today, we'll be making a birthday cake entirely out of bacon. And then, we'll be deep frying it in bang energy drink. And then, we'll do a fun little hashtag dance. How about a joke? What do you call a pig covered in... in frosting a birthday caken <laughs> like and subscribe you idiots hashtag random this like really upsets me everything from the bad jokes to the bad food to the almost asmr-esque videos just all of it is bad now i've probably been a little harsh in this video maybe it's because i'm jealous you know i've made my fair share of bad food videos heck i even had a pun series called hot jokes cold dogs with my buddy curtis so i'm no better than these people i think maybe i'm just a little upset because it's a little close to home for me i thought i was the only irrelevant bald guy on the internet making bad jokes. They're stealing my thunder, okay? And that's why I thought I'd remind you guys who the real kings of puns are. Oh, Curtis. Did somebody say pun? Curtis Connor, Curtis Connor. Give me Curtis Connor, Curtis Connor. Give me Curtis Connor. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Good to be back. Good to be back. Wow. After all these years. Yeah, dusting off the cobwebs. Yeah, know? absolutely. Oh you God. know what I mean? Cobwebs. Uh, you know, uh, cobwebs. Uh, yeah. Cob. Putting a. Uh, all right. Hold on. Okay. I know I got one. I got one. I got one. All right. Okay. So what What do you call um, a all right, here, Fuck. you know what? Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Sorry. Uh, you can edit it, that out. <laughs> we're, we can Sorry. edit that out. We can, yeah. It's all right. We can edit that out. It's uh, We're rusty. Yeah, all right? It's been a while, yeah. man. You know, uh, all right, here we go. Uh, all right. If I... Nope. Nothing. Uh, okay. New, new, we'll get a new topic. Easy. That's yeah. easy. We, don't, we, we can't just start, go off the first thing we say. No, it's been... Uh, yeah. It's been too long. You know, we got to work, up, you gotta work up to it. You got to work, you know. We'll do our, let's do our, we'll do our classic handshake. That'll yeah. help. Um, that was that. <sighs> Shit. Oh, whoa. lady. Yeah. Right. That's not. Is that it? That feels weird. What we just did. I feel like I've never done that before. Me neither. New here. I. Uh, what's in the? Uh, ho okay, we're in a hotel. 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 It's hotel. Vague. It's e. There's lots of things you can do. How's there fucking nothing in this room? It's just. Uh, you okay when you need your bed cleaned no there's nothing damn there. it that's something right that's yeah. got to be something it hurt i'll say it, that, uh, that hurt it hurt a lot all right so we should just, you could probably just cut i don't think we're gonna get anything no no, no we can get it we can just i should just I feel like I should just go, right? I, I this isn't going. This isn't going anywhere. The time has come and gone. We lost it. We fuck. We lost it. We whatever we had, we lost those it. years ago. We, it's all we, right. That then that's you get older. You move on, right? Right. You and just, that's fine. That's fine. You 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 move on from things and you grow up. You, you grow, grow up. up. It's time to grow up. All right, man. Well, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll go back to my room. I guess it was. I I'll text you tomorrow or something, yeah. and then we'll uh, just to. Yeah, just delete, delete it. it. All right, man. Well. Cause poo will be in my shart. Yes, poo will be in my shart. From, From the, the shit on now, now and far ever. <sighs> We're back, we're baby. We're back in back. Oh, I knew we still had we it. We still had it inside of us. We were just goofing around, all right? We had it the whole time. It was stored in our butts. It was stored in our butts, okay? And you know what else is stored in my butt? 
dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> Hot dogs. <laughs> Hot dogs. <laughs> See, yeah. I had them the whole time. Those are in your ass the whole time. Yep. They stink, they stink. but Stinky, they are yeah. dogs. They are cold, And they're too. cold. Freezing cold. From my cold, dark ass. <laughs> yeah. Cold crevice. Yeah, exactly. So I'll get these hot dogs out of here. Yeah. They stink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then that's what we needed. We needed a good category, mm-hmm. like poop. All right, so. Scattergory. Scattergory. Like poop scat? scat? Yeah, it's scat. Poop, right? Scat. Dude, I'm already fucking That's what you already <laughs> That's one for Curtis. <laughs> Boom. Scat, scat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, isn't Scattergories a game, too? It is. And that's where you just shit. Yep, on absolutely. A board, on a board game, yeah. you sort of mess it around with your hand. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's, that's no, the whole real, game. there's no real winner. No, absolutely. It's all losers, really. <laughs> yeah, all poosers. <laughs> <laughs> you are the poozer. <laughs> you are the poozer. <laughs> <laughs> what does Scooby-Doo eat when he needs to poop? Uh, I don't know. Scooby crabs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That like, is true. Like I've Scooby seen snacks. Yeah, but crabs. Scooby crabs. I've seen them do it. What do you call a country music artist slash actor who has the worst bowels ever? Uh, I don't know. Diareba McIntyre. Oh, <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> Diareba. <laughs> All right. I got, I got one more. What do you call it when you don't tell the truth about clogging the toilet? Uh, I don't know. Liaria. <laughs> 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 we got some. There's we got a good ones. We got there. some good ones. Can this be your whole video? For this is the, the whole video, video now. Yeah, just, Actually, it should be. Uh, are we coming back with any of these? Probably not. But <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, this filled your nostalgia. So yeah, take that pun, guys. Bruh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, thanks for having me, <laughs> buddy. Thanks for being on. All right. Enjoy the video. All right. Well, thanks, Curtis. Bye. I just wanted to tell you guys about today's sponsor, SeatGeek. Guys, live events are back. And SeatGeek is here to help you find the best seats for the best prices. And right now you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code Jacob Sharp. Now, if you don't know what SeatGeek is, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets for your favorite events as simple as possible. You might be like me and you might not be so good at using the internet. I know I find buying tickets for my favorite shows to be super stressful and super complicated. But dude, now I have the SeatGeek app on my phone and it's by far the easiest way to buy tickets online. Whether you're going to a concert or you're going to a baseball game, you go to a basketball game, you go see a touchdown, a football game. SeatGeek offers so many options for so many fun live events. And SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web into one place to make buying so simple. Dude, I was literally just in Chicago with my girlfriend, Eilish, and we wanted to go see a Cubs game. So bing, bang, boom, I looked up Chicago Cubs, and in two seconds, I was at Wrigley Field with my friends eating a Chicago dog and watching baseball. And SeatGeek wants to make sure that you guys are getting the best deals. So when you're buying your tickets, make sure you're looking at the green dots. The green the dot, the better the price. The red dots mean the price ain't so good. And guys, the deals get even better. Use code Jacob Sharp to get $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase using promo code Jacob Sharp. So make sure you click the link in the description below and download the SeatGeek app. And guys, checking out today's sponsor SeatGeek is a great way to support the channel and it's a great way to help me make more videos for you. So thank you so much for sponsoring the video SeatGeek and thank you as always for the nuggets. Okay, guys, back to the video. Alrighty, guys. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really sorry to show you guys all that content, but here I am ruining my algorithm to give you guys another quality YouTube video with quality jokes about people and the way they look, okay? And for all the people who've been asking for another hot jokes, cold dogs, there you go. You're welcome. Alrighty, guys, I gotta get out of here because I have to uh, actually cut off my own leg, peel it down to the bottom, cover it in cheese and bacon just so I can have some uncooked food and have diarrhea in the morning. Okay, bye. Jacob Sharp, more like Slake of Shart.